Um, if you're like me, you love trains, but you want to grab controls. Keyboard is just, ah, it's just not the same. Like, uh, I love this game, but just tapping keyboard is just not the same. So I've set out and developed uh, SimiCheck Toolset Pro, and all it does is uh, allows you to control uh, keyboard commands with joysticks. Now, I'm going to show you what I'll set up here. So this keyboard, we are going to put it away. And here we are in our train. First, I'm going to show you the doors. Well, one thing I didn't set up yet is the external camera. Um, so when we look from, from the outside, um, I've set up now with the joystick so you can simply pull it down to the left and you open the left door or put it to the right. So watch this. I'll go left door and you can see it opens the left doors. Uh, then you put it back to the middle and it closes the door. So you kind of visually know exactly which uh, door is open. Okay, so here we are inside our train now. So the start procedure, well, there's you have to hold it longer to get it out of the dead man's position. So first we have our direction. So you can see now we're in uh, we're in the off position. I'm now going to slide it to forward. I'm in the forward position. You can see here he went to forward. Now I just have one key to kind of start up the whole position and gets it into the emergency lock position. So. Now we're in emergency, that's great, but now watch this, I can use the Thrustmaster and I can just make sure I'm in the right direction, and I can now pull down, you see, and I'm coming into the different traction control positions, now I'm in hold, and now I'm in shunt, and here we are, we're rolling. Okay, so here we're going to get started, it's now in the off position, um, first I'm going to drag it down to forward. So auto forward, here we are. I, I have a key sequence to get it out of the dead man's position into the emergency position. So I have one button because the keystrokes are longer. So you push that. I'm now kind of in, I don't know, in movement mode. Uh, now I can use my Thrustmaster to drag through all of the different um, control positions. You can see now I'm in real one hold. <laughs> Uh, off and release. Now we're in shunt and now we can move uh, the train. I'm just going to stop it again now and show one more thing. I'm also a bit of a nerd and I don't like to see all of the helper guides. So I have a button to show everything. You can see I have the all the speed and everything and the next thing coming up. And also, uh, yeah, there, like how far to the next location. Um, so what I have is I can click to turn it off. Now there's nothing. But then I have a simple one button that you can just kind of click and just kind of see, quickly see what's going on. I have a red signal in 81 yards, and I can see my speed, see the speed limit, but when I let it go, it's gone. So I just kind of like that. It makes me feel like I'm, I'm uh, more in control. <laughs> okay, so let's get rolling now. So I'm going to drag it down to shunt uh, location. There we are. Now we're rolling. So we're, I have to remember now, because I don't see that there's a red signal, but I have to remember that there was a red signal coming up in 81 yards. So I'm putting into off and release now. I'm just going to let it kind of coast towards the red position. Um, here we are. Yeah, there I see that red signal now. I think I'm going even slower than 5 miles an hour. No? And then, okay, now I'm just going to put into the brake. There we go. And now I'm waiting. Okay, I'm just gonna, and I have the AWS, or is it called AWS in London? I have the AWS, so you can click and um, just right from this joystick and and accept the uh, things. Oh, there we go, green signal. Okay, so here we are. Let's roll into the tunnel. So you can see now I don't know what the speed limit is, so I'm going to push, and I'm way over the speed limit already. So let me go down to real one hold. Okay, here we go. And what's nice about this too is you can let go and just kind of let the train roll for you. Um, see, I think there's a red signal coming now, but I don't want to push my button and see, but I'm going to push anyway. Oh, there is a red signal coming in 100 and, 
Oh, yellow signal. And red, I have to slow down. Whoa. Okay, here we go. I should be able to catch that red signal. <laughs> we'll go a little for a little more forward. Uh, red signal. Oh, now it's now it's right here. There we go. Okay, red sig. Don't go through. Oh, that was close. Now I can't even see the red signal. Wait for a moment. Okay. It's green now. Ooh, I, I got so close that I couldn't even see the the red signal. Okay, so here we go now, off and release. I'm pushing it down to shunt series, and you can go up to parallel. I'm going back to shunt, which is the slowest. See, I'm already way over the speed. I just started this game, obviously, because it came out today. Uh, let me just slow it down a bit more here. There we go. So I'll try to keep it at uh, 10 miles an hour, I see here. Oh. No, I have green signal. That's on the other rail. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's the end of the rail. It's a little confusing. Um, okay, so I think it's 10 miles an hour. Oh, I'm up to 15 now. So I, I like to look down here and see that my speed is here at 15 miles an hour. green signals. And look how cool I am. I'm not looking at any controls. So I'm just going to look for the speed limit now. So I'm actually allowed to go up to 20, kind of was it, 5 miles an hour. So I'm, you know, pulling down a little bit more. I'm now in series. And I can see down here that I'm almost, well, probably at 15 miles an hour right now. I'm just going to let it go to 20. Okay, now I'm at 20, so I'm just going to push it down a little bit back to off and release. Alright, so now I'm coming into the station. And my speed's good. Now I'm just going to try to eyeball it coming into the station here. Oh, this is cool. Look how nice that is. Man, these graphics definitely are an upgrade from the... Uh, the last one. Okay, I'm slowing down now. Break one. Real hold one. I understand that to be break one. Just gonna release the brake a bit. Here we go. Okay, just click it. And stop. There we go. So I stop, see, so now I can use the I can slide it to the right side. So just go like this. And the right doors are open. And it's loading passengers. I can see up there. Load passengers. Now I'm just waiting. Okay, locked doors I can see up here. So I'm just going to take this and slide it back to the middle. Doors are closing. Locked doors. Here we go. I'm now going to pull it into real hold one off and release. Now I'm going to go to shunt. Now I remember my um, speed limit being kind of 25 miles an hour. So what I like to do is just kind of get roll. Oh, there it is, 25, sweet. So I'm good, so 25. So now I'm gonna look down here and just kind of keep my speedometer to less than 25. Okay, there's 20. I'm just gonna peek at my controllers right here. So I'm just pushing the button on to look. Now I'm going to let go and be back in the pure simulator. Oh, and I have the horn working too. Check it out. Okay, I think I'm a little fast. Let me just peek here. Nope, I'm still good. I'm actually allowed to 30 miles an hour now. So I'm going to try to go into... I'm at real breaking 2. Let's go to the 1. Whoops, I stopped way too early there. Okay, let me just let it coast for a little bit. 
Oh, this is cool. The coasting makes it fun. You just kind of let it go and just kind of let it smooth right into... Just kind of let it slide into the location. Okay, now I'll put on the brake. That's it. Okay, open the doors on the left. And I haven't set up the the looking. I think I can set up kind of pushing three and look out. I have to set this up. That's what I do. That's would be cool. If I could like just click a button and then look out the window and maybe like whip back the mouse. So you kind of get that perspective of way down. Okay, lock doors. I'm gonna come here, put it to the middle. Wonder how in real life they see if the doors are. I don't know how they do that in real life. Okay, so just so now I just pull this into shunt. And now we'll go into series. And I'm even gonna go into parallel, full speed. I remember my speed being 30. Let me just peak now. Yep, yeah, 30 miles an hour. So I can, oh, I just want to move my thing down so I can see my speedometer. Yeah, so here's 10, 20, so I'm 25 right now. So as I approach 30, I'm just going to slow it down from parallel into series. Oh, new station. Okay, now I'm going pretty fast. Braking two, braking one. Oh, this feels good. This feels good. Been working on this system for a while and it just takes time to build software. So it's finally starting to feel, start, it's starting just to work. There, sweet. Okay, open the doors on the right. Slide up. It's loading the passengers. Let me see. So maybe if, if I would push keyboard three and then I would whip around the mouse, I could make that into a key sequence. So I'd look back Okay, lock doors, so I just come back here, slide it to the middle. Alright, so now let's slide it into, into shunt. I guess I can go a little fast, kind okay, of parallel, full speed. I'm going to peek at my uh, little helpers here now. So, oh, 20. I'm already fast. Let it coast here. Okay, let's put it more into braking mode. This is one braking. Oh, <laughs> a little too early. Let me see how long I can coast for. There we go. Okay, open the doors on the left. Alright, I'll make more videos later. I just wanted to get this out quick and just show you what I'm working on. If you like what you see and you want to support me, please uh, head on to my Patreon page and you can download the software as well as many other things I'm working on and you can kind of support my development. You'll get the scripts. You can actually make your own system as well. It's not a lot of documentation, but I'm working on it. How to make your own scripts um, or you can download the ones I have as well. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to make more videos soon.